So the Sergeant controller, that's the EC200, EC225, EC300, EC325 and the EC328. Um, now they're designed uh, for quite a few manufacturers, i.e. in this case Auto Trail, uh, I believe also Roller Team and Swift as well. Um, now the standard uh, program on there is for you to check your levels so they'll give you your water levels your battery levels your vehicle levels blah 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 however we wanted to go one stage further and actually change some of the settings so let me show you how you get into the actual settings program on the sergeant controller so the sergeant control panel uh, obviously we have an auto trail so ours is shown as auto trail but you may have as we said uh, another manufacturer on it uh, <coughs> excuse me the standard mode on it is it shows you your fresh water your waste water the battery current and the where the solar is going the external temperature the tank heaters we have tank heaters on ours so in the cold you can put the tank heaters on to stop freezing obviously we are in the summer so ours are off you can change the set clock, set the clock settings. There, you can set an alarm on it as well, and so on and so forth. So basic set, uh, basic uh, settings on the um, standard mode. Um, the levels on on our motorhome they're sort of hit and miss. It might say twenty five percent when it's uh, full or whatever. But however, however there's just a gauge. Um, now the first thing if you want when you want to get into the actual setup mode um, is you need to go scroll to the very top so you go to the top screen which is that's your home page there which will show you the model number all right now it's very important that you actually have the power on so we've got the power on and you go to the home screen this will not work if you are not in the home screen so once you're in the home screen all you do is you push the top and bottom buttons together just keep holding them you'll get a bleep and then the screen will go to advanced settings once you're in advanced settings all you do is you scroll down I'm just gonna pick my glasses up sorry about this so it says advanced settings V. So I'm just gonna scroll down. So water alarms on. So you can change that to off. If you leave them on, then when the water levels get to, um, I think it's 25% or slightly lower than that, the alarms will bleep, but you can turn that off. We leave ours on. Key beep, I'm actually gonna turn our key beep off in a second because it drives me mad. The backlight timeout we've got our set for 30 seconds these are default settings you can change that if you wanted to now step automation now we've got ours on none with step automation we have an electric step on ours so when you lock the vehicle the step will automatically go in when you unlock it with the key the step will come out we actually wanted that off um, because we don't use that step anymore so we've got our set to off or none Moving down, step run time, don't know. Awning light option is none. Okay, so solar charge. You do have the option here to change the um, solar panel uh, to what, sorry, to, to change where, uh, what the solar panel is charging. So you can either have it set to charging the vehicle battery or you can have it set to charging the leisure battery or you can have it set to smart now I would recommend you leave it on smart because then it will automatically charge from the solar whichever battery needs the most so we've got our set to smart you can change that if you want to but I wouldn't recommend it charging mode uh, again we've got our set to smart is exactly the same thing you have a, a, a battery charger on board and when um, you're plugged into your electric hookup you can then um, change that if you want to just charging the vehicle battery or charging the leisure battery or in our case we just leave it on smart and again it will just charge whichever needs the most charge so moving down external temperature location pump control wastewater levels 
Wastewater levels, I don't actually know. I genuinely don't know what that means. Uh, you've got settings one to four. I genuinely don't know what it means. Um, if anyone knows, just drop a little link in the link in the description. It'd be great to know, but I don't know what that means. I've looked, but I don't know. Moving down, uh, you've then got the PSU version number, nothing to do on that. And then that's it. And you're back to your normal me menu. So just keep scrolling down. Um, if you make a change, um, you do need to go to the bottom of the screen. So I was gonna just change the key bleep because that's driving me mad. So we just go back into the settings again. There's the bleep. We'll scroll down to the key beep, which is there. Push the middle button to access that one. And it says off. I'm happy with that. I'm gonna go arrow down. And you'll notice the key beep is no longer running. And then go to exit and push the middle one to exit and it will save everything. So now if I push the buttons, there's no key beep. So I'm happy with that. So it's as simple as that. That's how you access the setup or the advanced settings on the Sargent control panel. Uh, on behalf of both Michelle, who's behind the camera today, and myself, thank you so much for watching and we hope you found this useful. Catch you next time. Bye bye now.